Hello everybody, my name is Rex and welcome to our first episode playing in Well actually wait, this isn't our first episode. What episode is this? This is the um where the hell is it? F is this the fourth episode? Wow, we're already in the fourth episode. That's quite good amazing actually. And you're about to see the loading screen. You probably hate me loading screen. I've probably talked about this before. I probably think it was the last episode if I'm correct, but I'm not completely sure. Anyway, what I can tell you is that I have to do this because for some reason you can't just exit out of the game and start filling. I don't know why you can't do that, but you mean, what I'm saying is you have to go into the game. You have to be filming before you start the game. It's kind of annoying, um, but hey, it's the best we got! And anyway, the Enclave will tell you what to think because this is an Enclave run. Um, so we have mods on. We have like the Enclave Improvement Project on, the EIP Project. So we're gonna be able to join the Enclave, um, so that'll be fun, um, anyway, so, use Havoc copyright 1999-2008, interesting. In Fallout 3, here we are, let's continue. Actually, no, it's not, well, continue from last save. No, I think we are gonna, wait, where's our last save? Yep, it's Big Town. So let's go here. Eligible adults. We will rebuild the American family as it was, as it was meant to be. Values of our past. So, if you guys want to see um, Sprint Mod on, of course, as I said, tell now, me about that. America, we must say Whenever I think of Arufu, I think of freaking Arroyo. By the mutants, the thing about this game is it's bloody terrifying because freaking mutants are on every corner. Terrifying. No, we're gonna listen to we're gonna listen to good old fashioned um, Galaxy News Radio. I don't know why I can't hear that one. You are too far. I think that might be it, actually. I think we actually may be too far from Galaxy News Radio. President of the Enclave, President of America, President of your heart. Ignore me, more rats. It's ah. Kill them all, rat. More at me, and let's see what the mutant has. Two frag grenades and a nail board. Is that as good as my baseball bat? <laughs> kind of looks like it, so we may use that. Okay, we killed a mutant! Just a raider. Avoid popularity and have peace. Greetings, dearest America. Yeah. This is your president, John Henry E. Let's <laughs> chat, shall we? Did you yeah, know we can use fast travel? There are those amongst us who would shut up our hopes ah. for peace, order, and security. Baseball bat, we can use that. Radical mouth. <laughs> they don't care about America. All they care about is fulfilling their own selfish desires. Let's take a tally of these 
Person's really tough, actually. Jeez. Anarchistic ruffians who roam the wastes, preying on any and all steel murdering. I'm gonna see if we can repair this. Um, repair. Don't be fooled by their pseudo nightly nonsense or supposed connections to the United States Army. I have no idea how this works. Our armored Boy Scouts are nothing more than common criminals with access to some antiquated technology. Criminals who have had the audacity to claim this. Okay, so we need more repair skills, so military installation to Pentagon as their own personal clubhouse. <laughs> Those who have left the Brotherhood of Steel, branded outcasts, are just even more so. Sorry, dog. And what about the slave <laughs> paradise falls? Frightening. Welcome to level three. Um Um, we only have 19 skill points, so I guess we'll use... I only have 19. Anyway, it's fine. Terror, murder. They're all around us, I know. I know. Medicine. Not for long, sweet America. Not for long. Oh, no. John Clay will restore peace, order, and prosperity. Let's go for more repair. ...to this great nation. And those who oppose us will be... Swift learner. Forever. We've got Go for daddy's now, boy, actually. I, but don't be sad, America. The enclave is working tirelessly. I hate the freaking heartbeat. I know you probably do too, but once we get to a safe spot, we'll be drink some water. But Blood ties. Let's look at the map now. I'm gonna fast travel back to that one place. Um, get some caps. Drink some water. This darn mutant did a lot of damage to us. To gain some frag grenades though. Yes? Ah, welcome, weary traveler. You look like a traveler in need of relaxation and the finest of chemical assistance. Well, wander no more, my good friend, for I am Doc Hoff, procurer of the finest of medical goods and chemical assistance. Now, how may I help you? Uh, I have to go now. Cheers, pal. Watch yourself out there. Is it under or above? Looks like it's above. Doesn't look very good. Looks like they actually have a force. Hang on, you're not one of them. I nearly oh, blasted you in two. America. Get over here before they spot you. And it's time we had a talk. We live in an age of Now what the hell are you doing all the way out here? Indeed, the very seat of the federal government, Washington, DC, has been reduced to what is now known as That's great. But I got bigger problems than being the town post office right now. The shit's about to hit the fan in this cesspool, and I don't think I can stop them. Well, at first, they do their typical gang bullshit. You know, break stuff and make lots of noise. But they always kept their distance. But this last time, they went too far. They killed all oh, that's of why they promoted it. I mean, that's our life blood out here, you know. Ah, look, 
You can call me crazy if you want, but there is something odd about those creeps. I mean, they got the guns and they got the muscle. Why don't they just bust down our doors and take us out already? We're really in a bad way and could use some help. I don't want to take my eyes off the ramp here. There's no telling when the family will return. Can you do me a favor and check on the other people's houses here? You know, make sure they're doing okay? Speak with Davis West, Karen Shenzi, and Ken Ewers. I've messaged for West family from their daughter. I can't take that. You're just going to have to bring it to the West yourself. I have to go now. Just watch yourself. I've got an itchy trigger finger. A place to truly call home. Reflect upon all I have said, my American. Reflect and wait. For soon, this great nation will be reborn, and the Enclave will be in salvation. Until next time, this is President Eden, signing off. The bodies of the West bite marks in that carry to the lack of blood stains. She is strange. Any bite of ruin could have caused a massive bleeding. There's nothing else on the corpse to indicate what happened. Oh my gosh, poor guys. Yes, who is it? Uh, Evan King sent me. Can I come in? Oh, he did? Well, it's about damn time he did something. Come on in. I'll unlock the door. This is President Eaton. You're listening to Enclave Radio. It's nice to see a friendly new face around here. It's been a long time. The name's Karen Shenzi. Evan King told me to check on news. Everything. Did you know the West are dead? What? Oh, my God. King has to do something about this now. Tell him to get off his ass and hunt those bastards down. I mean, King told me to check on you. Is everything okay? I'm scared out of my mind. I'm glad he's checking on us, but until someone nips the problem in the bud, we may as well stay inside forever. So what's your take on Evan King? He's a spineless wimp. His best solution to the family is to stay inside our homes and hide. What does that tell them? It tells them that we can be pushed around whenever they want. I'm sick of it. And I'm sick of King. Can you tell me more about what's going on around here? We're scared shitless. Evan King's got everyone so worked up about the family, no one wants to set foot outside. That asshole runs the show. But does he really do anything about our problem? No. What do you think about the family? All they do is terrorize us. They taunt us to open our doors, throw bottles at our houses, and scream at us. If I knew King had my back, I'd step outside and show them just how I feel about their visits, especially after this last attack. I have to go now. Sure, go. Just like everyone else. Hey man, I'm trying my best here. I wasn't I was sent to get my money. That's about it, okay? Hello? Is this the mailman? Oh, I do hope my fall catalog has arrived. Sure, yeah, I have your fall catalog. What hell, what are you talking about? This Evan King sent me. Oh, Evan, he's such a gentleman. Please, do come inside. Let me unlock the door for you. All you need is a little patience. What the hell are you doing in here? Get the fuck out. The rifle at me in. Something about a catalog. Why are you being so hostile? Calm down for pal before I put a hole in your chest. Your wife let me in. Something about a catalog. Oh, for the love of... Look, she's dumber than a bag of hammers, okay? If you want to talk to anyone, you need to talk to me. So what the fuck do you want? A bit sexist, but... Evan King told me... Did you know the West are dead? Son of a bitch. I knew the family were going to cross the line. It was only a matter of time. Maybe it's time I cut my losses and ran, but it just isn't fair. I made my home here. Why should I have to leave? Evan King told me checking you. Is everything okay? We're great. Just peachy. I love sitting in my house with my thumb up my ass. 
Okay. Tell Mr. You know, I'm, that's what we're all doing, man. Corona. <laughs> so what's your take on Evan King? Well, he's town mayor or sheriff or whatever he calls himself. He calls all the shots. When he says to get the heck indoors and stay put, we do that. Can you tell me more about what's going on around here? Everyone is keeping themselves safe from the family. If I was you, I'd do the same. You want to know more? Talk to Evan King. What do you think about the family? They're low-life scum who decided to use Arafu as their own personal amusement park. Oh, they're a fun bunch. I'd take a shot at them if I could, but judging from what they did to the Brahmin, I wouldn't live long to tell about it. I have to go now. Good. Now get out. You must be exhausted from all that walking in this horrible heat. Oh, and hungry too. Sit, please. Braley Ewers is the name. Don't mind my husband, Kenneth. He woke up on the wrong side of the bed this morning. Did you know the West are dead? Dead tired, I bet, from the square dance in the barn last night. What a time we had. And King told me I can use everything, okay? Oh, he's such a dear. I must remember to make more of those preserves he loves so much. Tell me more about what's going on around here. Oh my, I don't know. Mrs. West is probably whipping up a batch of her famous cookies, and all the kids are playing in the yards. She's it's so nice not very outside. smart. The grass looks lovely this time of year. Uh, okay, do you know there was a war 200 years ago, right? Well, I must speak to my husband about that. We could bring it up at the next homeowners association meeting. Oh my gosh. Oh, I do love meetings so much. I think I'll bring muffins. How many of this nation? I think they're in she's insane. True. What did they tell you? Everyone okay? Well, we did you know the West are dead? The family must have gotten to them in the last attack. Sons of bitches. America's Damn it! If only we had more men, we could stand up to them. I'm sick of them terrorizing this town. Wait a minute. When you searched the West space, did you find their son Ian's body? No, I only found the parents' bodies. This has to be the work of the family. I've caught that weirdo leader of theirs talking to Ian down by the river. Look, I know I've asked a lot of you already. But you have to find really, you haven't, kid. but... He deserves better than all this. I have a message for the West family from their daughter. I can't take that. You're just going to have to bring it back to Lucy or to Ian if you can find him. Don't worry, Evan. I'll figure out what happened. The West had bite marks on next. Mean anything to you? Bite marks on their necks? That's the strangest thing I've ever heard. The family must have attack dogs with them or something. Oh, this is all I needed right now. What am I going to do? They'll keep coming back until all of us are dead. Don't worry, Evan. Can you tell me more about what's going on around here? There used to be more families living here. Most of them have dismantled their shacks and moved on to greener pastures. Those that are still living here are keeping themselves indoors, thanks to the family. Where do you think I can find the family, eh? I think they live somewhere east or northeast of here. Problem is, they always travel in the dark, so I can't see exactly where they go. There's all kinds of places they could be hiding, like Hamilton's Hideaway, the old Moonbeam Cinema, or Northwest Seneca Metro Station. Uh, don't worry, Evan. I'll find out what happened to the West. Thanks, kid. You're all right. I have to go now. Next time I see the family, there's gonna be hell to pay. Well, good guys, I'm gonna be back in one second. Just don't worry, I'm not editing, so of course you will. Uh, well, I can just do this, and I could pause it. So I can't actually do that. Never mind. I'll be back in a second. I am back, and so where are we gonna go next? I guess well, now, I'm gonna. I know where I'm gonna go. I'll tell you. I'm going to go to Bess's position. 
is most easily established on the ruins of liberty, abused to licentiousness. I think I'm going to go to um, Hello again. This Vault 101. Is President Eaton. I'd like to have a chat. I've been thinking quite a bit lately about something we can. And then we're going to go down here. Something that is unquestionably, inescapably American. I am referring, of course. To our great national pastime. Baseball. Baseball. Or so it had been. That's right, America. Before we were devastated by atomic war, each state had its own professional baseball team. What's in here? Hey, three frag grenades, some jet, and some psycho. That is nice. Thanks for putting that in for me, person. Tricycle. Now, ask yourself this. What if the Capitol Congressmen could live again? What if they could compete with baseball Yeah, we're going to grab some water from over here because this gives us quite a lot of health, actually. Put your faith in John Henry Eden, Great America, and baseball will live again. Comfort, recreation, healthy competition, all will live again. This country will live live again. Reflect upon all I have said, my America. Reflect and wait. This gets you up to max health pretty darn quick. This great nation will be and only for five rads, which is, I think is a pretty good deal. Until we meet again, this is your president, John Henry Eaton. Let's look at the rad. How much rads do we have? Now I'm going to go over here to this house. And save. Who the hell are you? Where'd you come from? Did Moriarty send you? Yes, and he says you owe him some caps. That bastard. He's a he's a liar. He just wants me dead. Those caps are all mine. I earned them. Look, I don't know who you are. I'm not just him. Okay, let's go back here. Who the hell are you? Where'd you come from? Did Moriarty send you? Just hand over the caps and I'll be out of your way. Oh, him some caps? He's a liar. He just wants you to kill me. Those caps are mine, fair, and square. Look, I don't know who you are. I'm not just handing over my- yeah, We'll come back to her later, I guess, at a later date. Or we could kill her, but... You know, we'll come back to her at a later date. Um... A cherry bomb... Pre-war money spike knuckles. That's pretty good, actually. Pre-war money. Data quest. Look at the world map. We're gonna go to Red City. We'll have to swim down the river, but we're gonna do it. Gonna swim down the river. Hey, we discovered another place. I 
I love that freaking pump though. It was super helpful at just getting your health right up. Hell is this? It's a cage. It's just a fence. Why the hell is there a fence in the middle? Anyway, it's fine. I guess there's just fences in the middle of nowhere for no good reason. We're going to swim all the way to Rivet City. We'll be able to make our way to all the way to hopefully we'll be able to make all our way to Rivet City. Gosh, it looks like this bridge has collapsed. That's interesting. Look at our stats real quick. We're at 122. That's not exactly fantastic. Oh, what the hell did I do? Oh, I did that again. That is annoying. I hate doing that because I actually click on the freaking tab button. go back here you know we may just finish the family class oh, it's right next to tab and it's kind of annoying if you know what I mean um, looks like galaxy news radio is not the clearest signal In our building plaza quest eating the outcast we couldn't eat the outcast Investigate the riverboat into the pit. No, we're not going to do any of those. Big trouble in big town. Blood ties. You know what? We're going to go. So we're going to swim down the river again. By the way, for the Enclave Improvement Project, you're gonna need to follow Script Extender, I'm pretty sure. So, I mean, just letting you know. Um, this video is gonna be edited, by the way. Oh, uh, I don't know. I'm just not telling you that if you. Hates Megaton. old radio tower it looks like what's this 
place. This place looks like decent. Some there might be people here. I don't know if there is. Hmm. Radio tower or no water tower, sorry. How is that explosive noise? Wow. Kinda creepy. Oh, I found the Super Duper Mart. We'll come back to this at a later date. Now we're gonna save here. You can save inside your pit boy, but you can't for some reason. gonna go down here and we're not gonna deal with the mutants we're not gonna deal with the mutants at all we're just we're not gonna deal with them we may do so at a later date but not now no we're not Going pretty far, actually. What's our stats? Kind of worried about the rads. Actually, not too bad, actually. Let's look at the map real quick. I think the, it's right up there, so it's not too far. I feel like he's swimming fast under the water. Maybe that's probably, probably isn't true, but at least it feels like that. Oh, there's a Jefferson Memorial Center. You know what? It was a doctor to take or take rat away to low radiation level. You can always protect yourself. Do I have rat X? If I did, that would be fantastic. I don't think I have rad axe, so. It is my responsibility to over our great democracy. I am the voice of Uh, how far away are we from stupid place?
Down this river somewhere. Might need to take some rat away. Stats, let's look at the stats. What the hell is it? I've probably gone through the whole freaking map already. Giant aircraft carrier, it should be easy to spot. It's out of that range, that, that's good at least. Here's the Jefferson Memorial. I'm President John Henry Jesus. I you're listening to Mark Twain Radio. Voice, walk, reason in this cold, Mark Reason. Now, one of my inspirational quotes. Hmm. Where is the aircraft carrier, Fallout 3? Washington, D.C. According to Fallout Wiki, fandom, Rip Rivet City location. According to the Vault Fallout Wiki, Gatedia, Rivet... Well, it's over there, so we gotta go a little bit longer. So it's directly over across the water. You! Are you going to Point Lookout? I need your help. My daughter stowed away on the Duchess Gambit a few weeks ago, and I've been worried sick ever since. I haven't heard anything from her, but if you're going there, could you look for her? Please, I'll do anything to help. Can't promise anything, but I'll look for her. Oh, bless you. Her name is Nadine, and she left a couple of weeks ago. Said she wanted to see the world. Silly little thing that she is. That Tobar said he dropped her off at Point Lookout, but who knows what's happened to her since then. I don't know if you can convince my little Nadine to come back, but just give her this note from me, would you? I need to be going. Please. Find my daughter. Yeah, not not today, but you know, eventually. Don't you worry. Fine, I, it's stupid. I wish I could actually get on it, but. There's that aircraft carrier.
get on the aircraft carrier from over here, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. Need a lock pick of a hundred. Jeez, Louise, it's, it's tough. Guess we're going in the normal way. Once I do wish we could sprint, but walking is not the worst in the world, I guess. Oh, it's Doc Hoff, my favorite guy in the world. Stock. Yay, yeah, we discovered Rivet City. Ooh, there's a toilet. Please, please help me. I need water. I'm dying. Um, I have to go now. Please, help me. Sorry, man. Don't have any water. Welcome to Rivet City. Please wait while the bridge extends. I remember how hard this was in my other campaign to actually get to the Rivet City. It was freaking impossible. Hold it right there. State your business in Rivet City. Looking for my father. And who might your father be? If he lives on this boat, I know. I'm sure you don't know him. He's lived in Vault the whole life. Vault his whole life. Oh yeah? And I'm a fairy princess. You keep up this smart ass attitude, and you're gonna wind up floating face down in the river. He disappeared. I'm trying to find him, that's all. Alright, alright. You can go on in. If I hear about any trouble, you're gonna wind up in the river. You get me? Marketplace. Science lab is this way. Science lab is this way. Science lab is this way. There's so intelligent bobbleheads, intelligence bobbleheads somewhere. Here it is. You found a Vault Tech limited edition bobblehead. The description reads, it takes the smartest individuals to realize there's always more to learn. Your intelligence permanently been increased by one. Fantastic. Don't know about your runaway robot, but we don't care. This lab is dedicated to solving real problems. Let's talk to Dr. Lee. Look, this is a restricted area. I'm tired of telling you people. I... It's you. My heavens, you look so much like him. You're James's son, aren't you? What are you doing here? Wait, how do you know who I am? We Have we met? You know my father? Have you seen him? Well, yes, of course I do. Don't you know who I am? I suppose James never told you. Typical. I'm Dr. Madison Lee. I worked with your father many years ago. Your mother as well, in fact. You'll have to forgive me, this has all been very stressful. What with your father suddenly showing up here after being gone for so long? You have to understand that I... We... 
put all of that behind us. Project Purity, our work, all of it. We've moved on, even if your father hasn't. I'm trying to find my father. Have you seen him? Can you tell me more about my parents? I suppose so. I worked with them for several years until... Until your mother died and your father decided it was time to leave. What else do you want to know? Was my father like... What was my father like back then? James? He was very driven. Determined to change the world. Well, we all were back then, I suppose. He was focused on two things, really. Making Project Purity work. And your mother. When she died, I think... I think he gave up. I know he wanted to keep you safe. But I think part of what he did was run away. But it seems that he never really was able to get over the idea. I'm frankly shocked that he waited all this time and wants to try again. I never knew my mother. What can you tell me about her? Yes. Your mother was... Well, she was a good woman. A very dedicated scientist. Your father loved her very much. It was a shame that she died. She had been excited to meet you. Why did my mother die? What happened? Complications from childbirth. None of us were expecting it. We weren't as prepared as we could have been. You have to understand, we were struggling with scavenged, derelict equipment. We did everything we could. You weren't prepared? I understand. I'm sure you did everything you could. You weren't prepared. My mother is dead. As I said, I am sorry. I'm afraid I can't go back and change the past. Let's talk about something else. Okay. I'm trying to find my father. Have you seen him? You mean you haven't? I assumed he sent you here. For that matter, aren't you supposed to be in a vault? James said he left you there. This isn't about me. It's my fa I left the vault. Screw the vault. I left the vault. This isn't about me. It's about my father now. Where is he? Your father is no longer here, and I'd appreciate it if you didn't use that tone with me. Oh my gosh, tone. Sorry, could you please tell me where he's gone? Your father insisted that we return to work on Project Purity. I tried telling him too much time has passed. There's no way it would work. Predictably, he refused to listen to me. He says he can prove it will work and headed off to the old lab. I'm sorry, I don't know what else to tell you. Where is this old lab of yours? It's in the old Jefferson Memorial Building, northwest of here. Please, don't go after him. It was foolish of him to even think about going there alone. Can you remind me more? Of, can you tell me more about... I have to go now. Good luck finding your father. Yes, yes. Well, Dr. Lee! Dr. Lee is trying to save lives. And your constant interruptions are interfering with those... Let's not going to talk with them. Sweet America. Hello again. This is President Eden. I'd like to have a chat. I've been thinking quite a bit lately about something we I'm on duty. Make it quick. Something uh, I'm kind of a lot. What, what can you tell me about Dr. Lee? She's some sort of genius. You know, one of those egghead scientist types. Her lab is in the stern end of the ship. I have to go now. Yeah, see ya. That's right, America. I'm gonna save real quick, and I'm gonna report someone. I'm on duty. Make it quick. I'd like to report someone. Oh, really? If someone took your stuff, go get it back. If they shoot at you, shoot back. Otherwise, I've got to see it for myself before I'm gonna do anything. Um, goodbye. Whatever. I guess we're not gonna do that, so let's just go back here. And I think that's where we will end today's episode. I hope you guys all do enjoy, but have a fantastic day. My name is Rex, and goodbye.